Welcome, this is Zahn with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to use Dynamo and Revit to create additional levels uh, based upon the level that you select in the Revit model, as well as creating the floor plans and ceiling plans that are linked to those new levels. Here I am in Revit 2018. If I head over to the Manage tab of the ribbon, I have the uh, Dynamo player um, and the Dynamo uh, command and the Dynamo player here as well. Now, sometimes when you're working with software, the link between Dynamo and the application uh, may lose connectivity. And that's what happens when you get this gray button here. Also, if you have Dynamo Player open as well, you'll get the gray button. So for now, I'm going to close this Dynamo Player because we were using it in a previous video. And now that Dynamo Player button is no longer grayed out and it's functioning. So let's open up the Dynamo Player again so that it establishes a link between this Revit session and this Revit file, not the previous Revit file. And we can open up the script that we want to work with. So I have one that I created here called Add Levels above the selected levels that I um, pick. And I'm going to kind of run through it really quickly. And in this particular one, it has a description of telling you what it does and who the author is. And I got this one from Autodesk. This is one of the sample files that comes with the software. And it's pretty nice because it's simple and it makes sense. Here you have the... Uh, a green box that's grouping these nodes that says select a level. So it's asking the end user to select a level. Once it selects the level, it asks the user, is this the amount of distance that you want between the levels and how many levels do you need? Once that happens, it computes the level uh, elevations. Then it creates all the new levels, level by level, and offset, because the offset is a sequence that you pushed from here and here and the level information is created automatically. Now I'm going to close the Dynamo interface here and use the Dynamo player, which is here. And you'll get the Dynamo player. You can resize this if you need to. It just depends on how long your titles are. And here's the one that we want to work with, uh, add levels above selected level. Now if we click this little button here for editing the input, your Dynamo player interface will change a little bit and it will give you the quote unquote instructions of the Dynamo script. So here it says add levels above select a level and input is needed. So in other words it's saying how many levels do I want? Let's say I need six levels. I can also use the slider here and, and change that value but if you use the slider you can get a lot. You can get a hundred. Um, so let's not do that. Let's just specify a number like say six and then the distance between the levels, you specify whatever you want. And then you select the level you want to work with. And then it says waiting for input from Revit, so which means that you have to select a level. Now if I click this level 2, it automatically knows what level to work with. And before you can actually get the new levels, you have to run the script. So if I click Run Script, it'll generate all the new levels automatically based upon that height difference. And it's created, and they also give you the specific Revit um, ID number for those objects. Now, if you notice, it created the levels like you wanted and named them. Uh, why did it name them level 8, 9, 10, and so on? The reason is because the last time that I worked on this Revit file, I ran these scripts, and it went from level 2, it started at level 3, went up to level 7, and it remembered and I deleted them. I didn't actually undo. So it still remembers from level 8, uh, from the last level that I did, which is level 7. So it's creating a new one called level 8. And that's fine. You can rename them if you need to. Um, if you want to you know, really make sure that it's reading level 3 moving forward, then what I would do is I would undo your work in Revit, go back over here to level 2, and rename it something else and then rename it again so 
that way Revit remembers the last level that was created or modified. In this case, it was modified. So let's run the script again. I'm going to select another level, select level two, and run the script. And it should create it, and now it says level three through seven, or through eight, because we wanted six this time, which makes a lot of sense. What about the um, creating the floor plans and ceiling plans that are attributed to these levels? Because if you notice carefully, these two levels are blue, which means that they're links to the plan view and the ceiling plan views. But these levels are black, which means that those levels are not created. Those plan views are not created. We typically would go to the view tab of the ribbon and go to the plan views and pick floor plan or ceiling plan or structural plan and then select uh, a level you want to work with and click OK and it builds it for us. This is kind of time consuming because um, it's, you just kind of have to do that. Well, what if we wanted to change the Dynamo script in order to handle this? So again, I'm going to undo the work, so that way I'm still back to level three. I'll close the Dynamo player. We'll head back to the Dynamo script interface, the main window. We'll open up that script file, and we'll modify that script file. So what we need to do is we need to create or tell the Dynamo player that we need to create some levels, I mean some new plans. So if I say um, floor plan, now here on the left hand side <clears throat> there's a search condition and it's a nice to use this because if you don't know what you're looking for and you have this long list of things to work with, you know, you can kind of drill down and try to find something like logically I want to create a view, it's a plan, but I'm not sure exactly where to go. If you just start typing in the search, it'll start um, going through this entire master list and help you out. So I know I need to create a plan view. So I'm just going to say floor plan. And automatically it gives me some commands, floor plan by, um, uh, floor plan by room, by level, um, and then, uh, so I do want that. I want a floor plan by level. So if I click it, I get that right here. And then I want uh, maybe a ceiling plan. And so it says uh, ceiling plan by level, and I select that as well. Okay. Now if we look at the script uh, and we look at the nodes, it's saying here's the ceiling plan by level. It'll create the ceiling plan, but it needs to know what level. So how do we tell it what the level is? So if I click this and I place it here, it connects this level output node to this level here. And the same thing for the floor plan. And I'm going to place them like this and like this. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to pin down the visual results so that when you run this script, you can see the results. So when you work with Dynamo, especially when you're just learning, it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Okay, And what I mean by that is you'll have to actually run the script and see what happens and see what the errors are, and it'll you'll go from there. So let's minimize this a little bit again. And it says select a level, so I click select level. I pick this level over here. Now that that level has been selected, it knows what that level is and what that ID number is. It says 9946. If I hit run, um, it'll do so, and what do I get? I get ceiling plan by levels, and you can see that it looks like it did a good job. There are no red indicators or anything like that. If I minimize this window, I should see back in the plan view my levels 3 through 7, and they're no longer black, they're blue, and I see the associated level plans in floor plan and ceiling plan. And that's it. That's how you use Dynamo to create levels and create plans and ceiling plans associated with those new levels. Thank you very much for watching.